I've been directing a lot of television for many, many years and uh, began directing sitcoms. I started on a show called Frasier, was my first show that I directed. And then Jimmy and I were friends and Jimmy said, well, how do you get a movie made? And I said, well, you get a script you like. And I said, I'll, I'll write the script if I get to direct it. So um, that's what happened. You see him now, like, like look back to them and then take one more look back to see him, you know, then go to the rest of the speech. Yeah. Okay. Will knew Florida and he knew Carl's writing and had the perfect sensibility and understanding of what the book was about. You run around a corner and you're looking for your lost bike. Look out, don't look this way till you get to that. You know, look this way, look that way. I thought Will was so unique to this project because you had somebody that understood Florida. He had grown up in Fort Lauderdale as a kid. So I thought in Will you had somebody that understood that we wanted to keep as much of the uniqueness of Florida in it. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. People think of Florida as South Beach and Miami Vice and, you know, and big condos and everything, but this movie's about a little sleepy Florida we grew up in, so I'm trying to capture all these old little pieces of Florida that I think really tell the story. Okay, here we go, and action. Can I trust you? Of course. Will Schreiner was able to kind of utilize the swamps and all those kind of interesting trees. I was just impressed by what a great job Will did. I mean, the toughest thing to do in movies is work with kids and animals, and he just kind of kept a great attitude the whole time. Wild monkeys, it's part of being in Florida. Those things are rabid. They'll kill you if they get near you, but they're good eating. Will is like a little kid. He's like always making jokes and keeps everybody happy, keeps everything fresh, and he's on top of everything. Oh, that's good. Oh, I didn't God. mean to swing the bike no, around. It, the, it, the, it was fine. It all worked. The bike is stuck. We have a broken bike. It's great to have Will as a director because he's constantly teaching me like why he's doing a shot like this and the lighting and so much stuff. I'm learning a lot. He's been a great help to me. You guys remember Woody from Toy Story? Yes. That's me. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Will has just been amazing. He's hysterical and he knows how to bond with the actors and with the crew and he makes everybody work together as a family and as a team. Cut! All right, let's go in for cover. The director's job is really a balancing job. Good energy, boys and girls. You have to keep everybody working towards a goal. You have to make the performances work and you have to make the shots work and you have to make the scene work. We're looking around, we're looking high, we're looking low. And we start to see some owls. Look, point, somebody point. We see one over there. On the ground, look, look there. And Jimmy, you give Roy just an annoying thumbs up. The director sets the tone, and he's really laid back, but still in charge, and that's really important. See how the young actors, they don't listen. I haven't gone one day without cracking up, because everything he says is funny. He's the funniest director I've ever worked with, ever. It was everything I dreamed it would be, and more. <laughs> it was so perfect. Well, the most rewarding thing was making Carl and Jimmy happy because those guys, you know, they believed in me and they gave me this opportunity and we all came together to do it. So that was kind of rewarding to see them enjoy it. That's what matters to me. Good, good. And cut. It was perfect to let him go in there. It was like a nice, distinct cut. So I'm happy with that one. So here I am, had no idea that had I sat down and wrote Fade In that I'd be out here sweating my tail off making this movie, but uh, it became a project of love. <laughs> hey, hey, cut, good. <laughs> Back to live the day.